hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this text reveal animation inside of cinema 4d and with the help of adobe after effects so if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started <laughs> So here we are in cinema 4d which is the blank scene now first thing we will do we will go to the more graph or instead of more graph I would suggest you use this spline option and over here you will get this option called text so simply click on it and you are free to type whatever text you want but and over here I'm going to type a capital A like this and then uh, height I'm going to increase it up to 600 like this Yep, this looks good to me okay so with the help of middle mouse button you can switch between these four views so and if you want to select this view so click on it and then again hit middle mouse button so it will go in this view now I'm gonna select this text and I'll bring this over here like that then over here you will get this pen tool so simply click on it and then we will create one spline so click over here then over here then over here then over here and then over here and then hit escape so we have successfully created this kind of spline and now suppose if I want to edit this so I'm gonna click on my move tool I'm gonna select this point and I can adjust it like that with the help of middle mouse button I'll go to my perspective view and now my spline is ready and this text was only for the reference so now i'm gonna delete it i don't need that anymore uh, as you can see this looks weird but that's okay now make sure to select this spline and over here you will get this option called intermediate spots which is adaptive so simply click on it and over here we have to choose this uniform and number uh, let's choose 10 yeah now uh, this thing is also ready now i'm gonna select my cube over here and we will adjust the size to 20 20 by 20 like this and then I'm gonna select this cube again by holding control I'm gonna to create a duplicate I will choose 10 10 and 10 again select this cube by holding control create a duplicate and now over here I'm going to choose 30 30 and 30 size now I'll press shift C to bring back bring this my what we call search option so over here I'm going to type emitter and simply hit ok so as you can see my emitter is ready I'm gonna select my emitter and then first thing we will do we'll go to the emitter size I'm going to choose 0 and 0 in emitter I'm going to choose birth render I mean birth rate editor 100 and birth render also 100 and over here as you can see we have one timeline over here so i'll make sure that this should be 180 so click on it and let's increase this timeline like that now we will select all this cube by holding shift and we will bring this inside this emitter now select this emitter and now if you hit play as you can see we are getting something like this so this is the indication that these are emitting some particles so now select this emitter and over here you will get this option called show object so simply click on it so as you can see the dots are replaced by this particle so it basically says that they are replicating i mean emitting these particles now we will select any cube out of it right click and now over here you will get this simulation tag and we will choose rigid body tag like this now if i hit play as you can see some are dropping down because we have applied this rigid body tag over here now we will go to the emitter first and now i'm going to deal uh, i mean speed should be zero so hit ok now select this uh, what we call dynamic body and go to the force option and follow position i'm going to choose 10 and 10 now select this rigid body tag by holding control i'll apply on this one again by holding control i'll apply this on this one so if i hit play as you can see we are getting this kind of weird things but that's okay now select this emitter right click go to the cinema 4d tag and over here second one you will get this called align to spline so simply click on it now select this 
uh, align to spline and now we will bring this spline over here spline path so as you can see this emitter is now placed on the path of this a now i'll select this align to spline tag and over here you will get this option called position so create one keyframe over here go to 100 and let's make this 100 and create one keyframe and now if you hit play as you can see we are getting this kind of animation which is something like that and now we will select this position or instead of that select this emitter and but editor let's make it 80 and let's make it 80 and let's see this animation now you are getting something like that so so now if we hit play as you can see we are getting something like this now as you can see the animation stops at 100 seconds so i'm going to select this emitter and in stop emission i'm going to type 100 frames so after 100 frames this uh, emission animation is gonna stop like this so you'll get something like that now we will our animation is almost done so now what we will do we will create one flow so i'll click on this flow and we'll bring this flow something over here like that and then we will add one area light over here and let's move this area light over here press r for rotation rotate it like that and then rotate it like that go to the right view press e and then w and bring this over here like that if you hit ctrl r obviously we will get something like this now select this area light and go to the shadows and choose area and now we will get some shadows also like this now i'll select this area light and go to the top view by holding ctrl i am going to create a duplicate press r for rotation w and rotate it like that and let's see what we will get we will get something like this now we will create one material and we will apply it to this double click on it and choose black color for this material and let's see what we will get we will get something like this or instead of black you can choose grayish material also so it's gonna be a little bit visible also like that now i'm going to double click to create another material i am going to apply this on this cube and let's see we'll get something like this again create another material apply on the second one and i'll select this and i'll enable my luminous channel and let's see yep now select this material and choose different color i'm going to choose random color from rgb mode like this again create another material and apply on this one and i'm going to choose another random material over here like this so we will get something like this now i'm going to select this uh, white one and over here you will get this option called glow so simply click on it inner strength i'm going to type 20 outer strength i'm going to type uh, let's say 50 and radius 100 and if i hit ctrl r we'll get as you can see we will get a small glow so let's make this radius 20 and outer strength 100 and let's see what we will get as you can see we are getting some little bit glow over here or you can instead of red you can choose some darker version of this colors you can apply this black color to this one also but i think it controls it this looks good to me like that so we will get something like this throughout our animation like this now uh, select our camera i'm gonna click on it and let's move this camera in our scene like this you are free to adjust the camera the way you want press s somewhere to adjust this camera select anyone press s and you can zoom out a little bit like this
now i'm going to select this material double click on it go to the reflectance and specular blend i'll choose beckman increase the roughness and increase the reflection strength and if you see this anime thing now we will get this kind of reflection you can select this flow press e and let's move this upward like that double click on it increase the reflection strength also increase the roughness close it like that go to the color and choose proper black color like this let's zoom out a little bit yeah i think we can increase the ref roughness a little bit like this so yep this is how you can create this kind of animation now this animation should be up to 120 so at 120 i'm gonna type 120 over here and let's see we will get this kind of text animation now uh, we need to render it out so i'll go over here and go to the output and height width and width i'm going to choose 720 height and 1280 resolution let's say 300 and i'm going to choose all frames which means 0 to 120 frames and in save uh, over here you can save the location and format i'm going to choose jpg yeah and let's close it and save this file and press shift r so it will start to rotate your entire animation so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates until then 